hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Ko um, thanks for stopping by <laughs> I don't know I uh, hope you like my outfit today it's cold in Buffalo and I don't care so today I am going to be showing you my January empties so these are just things that I've used up in that I used up in the month of January and I'm planning on doing a video like this every month uh, about the things that I use up, the things that I like, things that I would repurchase, things that I wouldn't repurchase. Um, so if you're interested in that, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if there are things in here that you've wanted to try or that you have used. Let me know what you think. Let me know what other kinds of videos you'd like to see on YouTube and let me know if you like my outfit. I know it's really cool. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the video. So I used up quite a few things actually this month. So uh, it usually takes me a really long time to get through stuff. Um, so the first things that I got through this month was actually shampoo and conditioner. So these are the Dove intensive repair shampoo and conditioner um i i think that these lasted me these lasted me about like three or four months so i only wash my hair every like two to three days depending on like how greasy it is or if i'm leaving the house things like that uh <laughs> or if i'm gonna wear a hat uh, but these i really like these um if you've ever used dove products before i mean these smell really good they smell kind of like what their regular soap smells like just like very clean uh smelling um i like these i've used these in the past these are something that i repurchase will probably repurchase in the future um like i said these are the intensive repair so my hair is kind of damaged so i didn't really notice that big of a difference in my hair except maybe that it was a little bit more shiny which is always really nice but again, like I've said, I've used these in the past. I probably would repurchase these in the future. Um, so yeah, that is the first thing that I used up in January. The other, oh my God, I guess I didn't use up that much stuff. I used up a lot of candles. Um, the next thing that I used up uh, that is like, I guess, beauty related or skincare related is my Dove Advanced Care Deodorant. This, well, this is like the antiperspirant. Um, this is the Go Fresh Cool Essentials. I think it's like mint, spearmint, and cucumber or something like that. Um, I've been using this specific one probably since high school. So I don't, I don't know when this scent came out. But as soon as this scent came out, I started using it. It's honestly been like 15 years or something. But I use this every day. I love it. It smells so good. And it keeps me from sweating. So yeah, I used that up. It did not go in the box. I thought it was gonna be slick. Let's try it again. It did not go in the box. Oh well. <laughs> uh, the other thing that I used up this month is um, something that I never use up, honestly, ever. So I used up my 24 hour moisture ultra shade body cream from Bath and Body Works. This is in sweater weather. I mean, pretty much everybody knows what sweater weather is because it's one of their most popular fall candles, uh, but they do have it in the scents as well, generally in the fall. And so I picked this up this year. This one is inspired by golden autumn leaves, bright blue skies, and crisp apple slices. It does have like a very like apple-y scent, but, oh my God, I just sucked it up my nose. But it also does have like definitely like the the leaves it's very crisp it's very clean um i really like this and i think this is honestly the first time in my entire life that i've actually used up a lotion from bath and body works it's a it's a freaking miracle but i used it i like it i still have like three different ones in my cupboard that probably will never get used up but you know i did it um, and then the last things that I used up, um, there are, oh no, wait, there's one more thing. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. 
Uh, one other thing that I did use up this month is my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This was in the shade Light 16. Um, I've been using this for about six months, so it lasted me that long, which is pretty great. Um, I love this concealer. It's it's like medium coverage, medium to high coverage, depending on like what kind of foundation you're using underneath. Um, I've never had any problems with creasing or any annoying things like that uh, with this concealer. So it is something that I am definitely going to repurchase. I have one other shade that I'm trying to use up, uh, but I definitely will be repurchasing this in the future for sure. And they're only like $6, so you can definitely justify purchasing those again. Um, the last couple things that I used up last month were candles. So I am a candle freak. I have a ton of candles. I burn candles pretty much every day of the winter. I love them. They just, they make me happy. They make me feel good. They make my apartment smell really good. So the first one that I used up is Fresh Balsam. And this one is really great. It just like, it smells like a Christmas tree. It smells like winter. And I used that one up. Actually, I used two Fresh Balsams up. So I used one of their smaller candles which end up being seven ounces and then I used up one of their three wick fresh balsam candles as well and this one is oh my god where does it say 14 and a half ounces so basically double the size of the smaller one um the one thing I will say and that I hate about Bath and Body Works candles is that there's so much wax left in there that is that won't burn because your wick is just done so what I like to do is I like to save up, like I'll keep these even though they won't burn anymore. I will keep them and I have some like soy wicks, or not soy wicks, I just have some wicks from candle making that I used to do. So I will repurpose um, a jar and I will melt these in the oven and pour in and then you can burn basically another candle. So that's a little hack if you want to get all of this out of there just melt it down and repurpose it into a new candle just buy some wicks for cheap online on amazon um so yeah i will keep these around and then melt those and then the other candle that i went through actually um i had never burned this one before and this is amazing it's spiced apple toddy uh if they're going to continue to make this one i will definitely definitely purchase this again it really just smells like hot like hot molds apple cider it's it's so nice and the throw of this candle is really good as well so I live in, in a pretty small one-bedroom apartment and my entire apartment will smell amazing when I'm burning this pretty much any Bath and Body Works candle will make your entire apartment smell um, but this one specifically I really loved like I could smell it in the hallway when I would come in from taking the dog out um, it's amazing I love it um but yeah again because there is wax left over i will probably hang on to it and melt that wax and repurpose it into a new candle as well um yeah i think okay so those are the products that i used up in january nothing too crazy i mean it's just it is what it is um the other thing i'm wondering i have seen some other youtubers who do these videos who they include things like cleaning supplies that they have used up and that they've liked is that something you guys would want me to include in these videos or do you want me to just to stick to like candles and body and makeup and whatever um let me know in the comments below and again if you like this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel before you leave would be awesome um, I do post new content twice a week, so on Sundays I do post beauty videos, so usually tutorials um, is what I do on Sundays, and then on Wednesdays I post videos and content like this, so much more lifestyle related. I am wanting to start vlogging, but I also don't want to feel like an idiot on public talking to myself, so I'm having a hard time getting over that. But we'll see what happens in the future. Um, yeah, so like I said, subscribe to my channel before you leave. And thank you so much for stopping by. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.